Hey guys, what's up? You guys are back with Matusha to start off. Happy New Year, first video of 2021. So let's get into it. So today I'm gonna to be doing a hair tutorial on achieving heatless curls. But when I say curls, it's not like those curls that go down. Like this is literally curls that stay up. It's really, really beautiful. I find it so nice. I did not know how to style it initially at first, but then I figured out how to style it. So I'm gonna show you guys the whole process on camera with you guys. So let's get started. So the first step, as you guys may see is to take a shower so you have wet hair and it's fresh so it's ready to be styled so let me just go ahead and take off my towel first step is going to be to comb out the hair when it's wet so one thing i do recommend you guys doing when you take a shower is to put a lot of conditioner because once you style the hair uh the hair does tend to get a little tangled because it is curly hair so make sure you condition the hair so that your hair is smooth and there's not a lot of tangles as um it would be without conditioner all right so now that i'm done combing out my hair we're gonna jump into the main step that gets you heatless curls that look bomb so the product that i use is called twist flex rods so i'll show you guys what it looks like so i used it up so all these twist rods are like all over the place so um i'll show you guys the differences so there's different size rods obviously you guys could see those are the bigger ones i did not use the bigger ones i used the smaller ones which is at the top so there's like the green one that's like super tiny and then there's a the yellow one and then the red the blue and orange so these are the colors that I used for my hair I started with um, the bigger curls at the bottom and then the smallest curls at the top that's why there was like this transition from small curls to bigger curls so these are the rods we're gonna use so I'll just take everything out that I'm gonna be using I'm gonna section out my hair so I'm gonna start off from um, the top of my ear I'm gonna section up behind my ear like this take out all the hair Bring it up and I'm going to put my hair together so that I could section this section out. Best elastics out there is goody guys if you guys ever want to buy elastics. No ad. I just love these. These are like the best elastics. Okay, so now that we're done that, I'm going to section out the hair in half on both sides. So this is the hair we're working with to start off. I'm going to use the orange rods which is the biggest size I'm working with. So it's not that big. So what I do is I'm going to section this out into two. So I'm going to only do two for the bottom. Uh, one thing I wish I did when I was doing my hairstyle is combing out the hair prior to rolling up the hair because I had a lot of tangles. So I'm going to take this and I put it on the back side because you want the curls to go this way, right? So you put it behind the hair. You start from the bottom and then... I like holding this hair just to make sure that it stays intact and then I roll it up. Oh my god, this is a process guys. I forgot how hard it was. <laughs> it's a process but it's worth it. Roll, roll, roll. See, since my hair is conditioned, it's so clean. Like when I'm doing my work right now, it's so clean. Like before it was so messy. And then when you go to the top, you just fold this this way. And you can fold this the same way as well. It doesn't have to be the same way, but I like doing it like this. I fold it different, different ways. It doesn't really matter. So the step again, comb out your hair, take the rod, put it behind, hold the hair as you're doing it because you don't want to mess it up. So just make sure you have a finger holding the edges and then you roll it. Okay, so now that we're all the way at the top, fold this inward and you fold this inward as well. Okay, so now that we're done at the bottom, I'm going to take out my hair, section it out like that. Alright. Okay, cool. So now that we're moving up, we're going to put three rods for this section instead of two because I want uh, more volume at the top. So as I said, comb out the hair. That's step one. Use a rod, bring it to the bottom. Spin it around the rod. And then spin, 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 spin. So spin it around. Make sure you're holding it or else it will get messed up this section. So just use your thumb to like hold it down. 
So all the way to your root guys, all the way to the root. And then you fold it. And fold this one as well. So now that that's done, we're going to comb out this again. And then distribute two pieces equally. Because we're doing three at the top. So same concept. Spin, spin. Oh my god, this piece of hair though. Spin it all the way. Bring it down and up. There you go. That's two sections done. So now we have one more section on this side. Hold it down. Put your thumb to hold the section. Roll it up all the way. This is actually so much easier that my hair is like conditioned. Like I did not condition my hair as much as I did today. I actually put more conditioner than I usually would only because I know that um, the hair was like all over the place. I have frizzy hair. So if you have frizzy hair, conditioner is your best friend. <laughs> So all the way to the root and then bring it down and up. So let me just fix this up. There you go. All the way up. And there you go. That's the second section. So now let's take out the bun. So I'm just going to go like this and take out a bit more hair. Make sure you include the back as well and take all of this out. So now that's sectioned out. We shall put this in a bun again. Ooh, that's a cute bun. So we're going to section this out into five pieces and I'm going to do two yellow in the front and then three reds in the back. So let's roll this up. Okay, so now that this is rolled up, let's fold it. So all the way to the root is the goal because that's what keeps your hair spot on like super curly. It's actually pretty easy. It does take patience. So just take your time. No rush. Self-care. That's what you got to see it as. And self-care should be timeless. There shouldn't be any time put on giving time to yourself because you got to love yourself. You are the best. You are the best. So invest in yourself. Because you will go far by doing that. So now that we're all the way to the top root, fold it, and then fold it again. Two. There you go. So that's two on this side. So now we're going to move on to the red rods. So, so roll, roll, roll. Make sure you don't take two uh, thick pieces because if you take thick pieces, uh, most likely it won't be as curly. The more thinner the pieces that you take to do these rolls, the more precise your curls will be and uh, defined. So all the way to the root. Fold it up and then fold it again on the other side. So as you guys saw, the bottom section was two pieces, then the middle section was three, and now we're doing five on this side. So now that we're all the way up, bring it down, bring this up, and tighten it. So now that we're at the top, bring it down and bring this one up. There you go. This is one side completed. Last section. I'm so excited. We are nearly done. Okay, I'm just going to comb this out. I'm going to separate my hair, section it out in the middle. So I'm just going to take a comb and Separate my hair out in half and make sure it's perfect. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's better if it is. So the top section, I'm going to section it out into four pieces. So I'm going to do uh, the green ones. So the green ones are the skinniest and then I'm going to do the last one as the yellow. So you're going to put it down and then roll it up all the way, all the way. So now that I'm at the root, I'm going to bring it down and bring this one up. Bring it down and then twist it. Twist, 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 twist all the way. So now that I'm at the root, I'm going to bring it down 
bring this up. Take a green rod, bring it down, and then roll it all the way up. All the way to the root, guys, all the way to the root. Essential, especially the top part. So now that we're at the root, bring it down, bring this one up. So the last section, I'm going to take the yellow rod, bring it down, hold it, and then twist it. Twist it all the way. So all the way, bring this down, bring this up. There you go. So basically this was the main step. So now that this is done, your hair is going to dry up because it was wet. So um, when your hair is wet, it actually emphasizes how it dries down. So when it dries down into these forms, it's more curlier and it looks nice. So I'm just going to top this off with the spray. It's the uh, she uh, Cantu Shea Butter um, Coconut Oil Shine and Hold Mist. So I'm just going to do this just to make sure that it doesn't get frizzy. So I'm just going to spray it around. And I'll show you guys what the product looks like in just a second. So this is the product. So I'm actually going to be taking out these curls in about, uh, let's say, 8 hours. Usually what I do is I do this before I sleep, wake up the next day and take it off right away. But since I'm doing a tutorial for you guys, I'm like, you know what, let's actually do like a whole... Um, proper process in the morning so you guys could see it properly so right now it's currently 134 so I'm gonna set my timer for eight hours start so eight hours the timer is starting and now so I'm gonna come back oh, I had 50 seconds additional added on to this because it's probably for something else uh, but basically I'll be coming back once the eight hours are done and we're gonna take out these rods and you guys will see the final results so I'll catch back with you guys once the timer is done so as you guys can see the timer is going off so the timing of eight hours comes to an end let's stop this we're gonna go ahead and start taking off all of these uh, rods you let's call it we'll start from the bottom so I'm gonna go from back to front so all you gotta do is undo the both ends and then drag it down so same concept again over here undo both ends and then drag it down so from the back that's the top section so back taking off is so much easier than actually doing the process so you guys could see everything's coming together. Okay, you know what? Let me, I missed one right here. I'm just going to take whatever that comes to my hand at this point. This time, I feel like it's still wet low-key. It is actually, my hair is still a little wet, even though it's been eight hours. Okay, so we're done this. Now we're going to do the top section. Gotta be patient. There you go. So as you guys can see, when you take it off, it looks nothing like what my um, like curls looked like the first time I originally tried. So this is what I was working with when I woke up with my hair looking crazy. Literally like 10, 10 to 15 minutes before I had to leave work because I usually do my hair last. So let me just take everything out. So... <laughs> It looks so funny, but this is what it actually looks like. Okay, my hair definitely feels so much softer than the first time I did it because I conditioned my hair to another level. So this is what the hair looks like. And then... You have to begin sectioning it apart. So I literally just started taking the hair, splitting it into a few strands from the bottom, just not try to like make it messy, but like just section it out into two, three pieces. Like each strand that I did separately, I separated it into two, three pieces. So like this one, like one, two. This is what adds the volume. So when you section it out, as you guys could already see the sectioning, bringing out volume. So the bottom ones you could just run your finger through because it was bigger. Um, and then the front section. 
So you want to split it. If you run your fingers through it, it tends to uh, become uh, puffy. So you just section that out. The more is better, to be honest, because it, it creates individual curls, as you guys can see. Like, it creates tinier curls. Oh my god, this is exactly how I look like. I look like crazy. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow, it looks like I have bangs, guys. <laughs> okay, so we'll do this side now. So here's the hair, as you guys can see. It looks pretty dope. I like the fact that it looks like I have bangs. Like it actually looks like I have bangs. So what I did, I was just playing around with it, just fixing it up on the edges and whatever not so I know I look crazy right now <laughs> what you mean it's a new me <laughs> okay so you just play around with it lift it just be go crazy with it like just volumize the hair so this is what I actually look like going to work so I put a hat on because I did not know how to style it um, I do see how the bottom curls are actually coming out Compare to the other ones. I think I did not curl it properly as you guys can see there's like some strands that were not curled properly But this side seems fine. So I might put like two or three rolls when I sleep tonight And now we're gonna try uh, styling up the hair and uh, What I usually do is I section it out. It's just that like my hair today is like super duper 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 curly um, I just <laughs> Maybe I'm struggling just the way I did initially <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, hold up. Maybe I might need to style it the way it was. Oh my god, guys. <sighs> Let me try parting it. Let me try. I can't really need to like be like, bro, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Trying to see how I can style this. Bro! Bro! <laughs> oh my god. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sleep with my hair and then come back tomorrow and then style it because, um, yeah, you guys probably understand. So I just feel like I just need to let it sit like it just came out of the rods and it's like super like stiff and I feel like it just needs to like just relax. Ooh, it's coming. Oh, 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 okay, okay, never mind. It's coming together. This is the do. Oh my god, that, that just happened. But yeah, guys, look at this. Like, what do you guys think? Like, I like it. I'm feeling some 80s vibes. I just need to put some disco pants and start dancing with a microphone. So that's what my coworkers were saying. They're like roasting me. They're like, you should be a break dancer singing. And I'm just like, yeah, I work with guys. So guys are guys. <laughs> so yeah, I actually really like it. I really like it. Oh. I'm going to be doing another look. So, since I am going to be filming another look with this hairstyle, I'm going to be posting this hopefully by 12 p.m. So, I will probably be filming a look around 2 o'clock so you guys could drop down your suggestions and I shall create a look for this hairdo. You guys could even pick out my outfit like if you guys want me to wear a dress, a hoodie, or whatever not you could style me and I shall create a look for you guys. So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up to show your love and support. It truly does mean a lot to me. And also let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you will be attempting this look because I'm really curious to see this hairdo on other fellow 
followers and my audience so uh, send me a picture on Instagram if you guys do and let me know if there's any other type of videos you guys would like to see on my channel this year this year I'm going big like big like I am going big and you guys are gonna be getting all the content your way so let me know what you guys would like to see and finally don't forget to click the subscribe button because I will be posting more videos so I'll catch up with you guys in my next video so bye guys